What's going on everyone of these sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about Pascal Siakam as he has been on an absolute tear here so far to start off this 2022-2023 season and it's been just eight games and I get it but you know you can't take away the fact that Siakam's playing like a top five player in the NBA this season. Um, you know obviously he's his numbers are in a small sample size, his numbers are the best that they've ever been in his career so far. In the eight games he's played, he's played 36 minutes a game. He's shooting 48% from the field, 37% from the field. Um, his free throw percentage is 73%, so um, a little bit worse than what he's done in his career, but, I mean, that'll get better. And then if he's averaging over 9.5 rebounds, 9.6 rebounds a game, 8 assists a night and 25.6 points per game with a steal and um, over a half block a game. These are MVP type numbers for the 28 year old. He's, you know, he's only going to get better. He's not, he hasn't reached his top potential yet. Um, you know, and, and obviously for Pascal, this is a great sign if you're the Raptors. I mean, he's, he's an all NBA player. He's coming off an all NBA season. Um, you know, for the second time, of course, and he's just playing with so much confidence. He's been on a tear. I mean, he, he's carried this team. You take a look at his last, he's already got two triple doubles this year. Um, didn't, didn't mention that, but you know, he's been, he's been doing this, you know, by himself as well, because Fred Van Vliet hasn't been out on the basketball court, um, you know, for the past two games. And he led the Raptors to some big time wins. Um, a 43-point win over the Spurs in San Antonio, and then at home, a 30-point win over the Hawks. Those are some pretty big games. And you take a look at the games the Raptors lost. Um, they lost to Brooklyn and Miami on the road, and they lost by three and four points, you know, on, on a back-to-back. -back. I mean, that's pretty good. You, you take that into account, that is pretty damn good. Then, of course, they lost to the Sixers at home, but the Sixers were in desperation mode, and the Raptors just weren't playing great. Um, they were kind of off in that game, but, you know, back to Pascal Siakam, like I said, he's got six double doubles and, um, two, well, two triple doubles and four, um, double doubles this season. It says six, but of course, um, with the two triple doubles, you take two, um, double doubles away from that. So in six of the eight games he's played this season, he's got at least a double double. And you take a look at the games in which he did not get, um, a double double or a triple double it was the two games in Miami where he was one rebound shy of the triple or the double double and then two rebounds and an assist shy of a triple double not only is Siakam scoring at will but he is make he's getting the best out of his teammates he's he's passing the ball and he's sharing the ball more than we've ever seen he's playing on an unbelievable level right now um, you know, you take a look at what he's, you know, how he's getting his team to play. Barnes has been ridiculous. OG and Obi has been fantastic this year, averaging three steals a game. You know, the Ra this Raptors team is really gelling together. This core is really, really special. Um, you know, the, the starters have been playing great. The bench guys have been playing great. You know, it's just really, really good to see. And uh, Pascal Siakam is the focal point of this team. And you take a look at where the Toronto Raptors currently are. They're five and three. In uh, you know in this season, the third in the Eastern Conference. Um, you know, you take a look at Cleveland; they're six and one, and their only loss was to the Toronto Raptors. So that goes to show you how good of a team Toronto is. And Cleveland hasn't beaten bad teams. They've won six in a row since they lost that opener to the Raptors. Two of those games against the Celtics, um, one against New York, one against a good Wizards team, one against a really good Bulls team. So you know, you got to look at some of these Raptor wins and and really, really you know, value them because they've beaten some good teams in Cleveland, Miami, Philadelphia, and, and the Hawks, of course. And then San Antonio, is, as as bad as the roster looks, they're 5-3. Mm -hmm. and three. And coming into the game against the Raptors, they were 5-2. and two. You know, so they're a good-looking team. But Pascal Siakam, in my opinion, he's going to be top five by, the, by year's end in the MVP voting. He's playing that good. Um, you know, in the Raptors this offseason, I have no doubt in my mind, they're going to sign him to a contract extension. He's playing that well right now that you can't afford to have this guy leave your team, you know, unless you trade him for a KD type player, or, you know, I don't know, but right now it's looking like Pascal's going to be a Raptor for a long time. He's deserved it. He's playing like it. He is 
really, really good right now. He's getting the best of Gary Trent Jr., Scotty Barnes, Precious Achua, OG Anobi, and he's been a real good leader here, especially without Fred Van Vliet on the floor. And just imagine what the Raptors are going to be once they get Freddie um, back and playing the way Freddie um, usually plays. As you know, even the games he's played this year, he really hasn't been himself in uh, in a few of them. But imagine this team, the way they're playing right now, they just creamed teams by a margin of 73 points over two games without Fred. Now imagine you add in a healthy Fred Van Vliet, what this team looks like. Um, you know, this team's going to be really special. And of course, Pascal Siakam is the focal point of that. But guys, that's all I got in this video. I just wanted to talk about Pascal Siakam, um, kind of show some love and, and a bit of an appreciation video for him because he's been on a tear. And I think he's going to be an MVP candidate this season. He's been playing really well. Um, and he's our superstar here in Toronto. That's all I got in this video. You guys let me know your thoughts on Pascal Siakam. What do you th how do you think he's done this season? Let me know all that good stuff down below in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys all in the next video. And as always, let's go Raptors.